Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at using Picture in Picture in iMovie 09. So in episode 238, we looked at how to use cutaways in iMovie 09. Now let's take a look at how to use Picture in Picture, which is kind of the next step. Instead of just replacing all the video and leaving the audio track going, we're actually going to have video inside a video or a picture inside of your video and you can still see yourself talking and your audio going at the same time. Let's take a look. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into iMovie Preferences. You need to make sure Show Advanced Tools is checked. This is what enables things like cutaways and picture in picture as options. So here I am in iMovie 09. Now I've got a clip down here on an empty project. I'm going to drag the clip into the project and it appears there. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a photo as an example for a picture in picture. I'm going to drag it from the desktop and you can see I'm going to drop it right here on the video in the project. Now I get to choose what to do with it. I'm going to choose picture in picture. Now it'll appear above it and this is the time in which it will appear. So at this point of the video it starts and then it ends here. I can stretch the ends to any position I want. Now when I go inside it here I can see over on the right that I have the picture in picture appearing here as a default size in the upper right hand corner. Now I can also go over here on the right and grab one of the corners and drag it to change the size of the picture in picture. And I can move it anywhere I want, shrink any corner down so I can move it to the upper left, on the bottom, any place I want. The only restriction is it's got to be the same dimensions as my video. So in this case it's widescreen video and it fits the same dimensions as the main video. So if I stretch it to fill the whole screen it will fit perfectly. Fortunately you can't include a picture in picture that is a different shape. So I can also go ahead and with it selected open up the inspector and I can change some options. Uh, like with cutaways I can go ahead and choose a picture in picture effect. I can choose it to dissolve, zoom in or swap in and I can set a duration and that will basically create a transition at the beginning and the end. So here's the dissolve for instance and you can see here at the beginning of the video it will fade in. I can go ahead and change that to zoom and you can see how it works now. You also notice that there are a variety of other options including border, border color either black, gray or white and even a drop shadow. All these can really help the picture in picture stand out in some circumstances. Of course you can also use video as picture in picture. So basically you can have some video in the corner as you in the mainframe explain what's going on in the video or you could have you in the corner explaining what's going on in the mainframe. Or you could use them to do cheap special effects. So basically you can drag a variety of things into your project to use for picture in picture like a photo off the desktop or you can drag a photo from the media browser inside of iMovie or just another video that's in the event area of iMovie into the project area. So that was a quick look at picture in picture. Hope you find it useful. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.